Hey, we're Jenna and Wack from Tonight Alive, and this is the time we... I think the time I got most starstruck was when um, Mark Hoppus sang on our first album, and mm -hmm. we were, well, I was 19, I think you, you were 17 maybe? I was 18. 18, and um, we went to uh, his studio that he has with Travis in LA, and we knocked on the door, and we were pretty nervous, then he opens the door and he's like, hi, I'm Mark, and then he was so tall, I swear, he was like up, up to the sun, and we just kind of looked up and we were like, um, hi. <laughs> and then that whole thing, like, he was super nice to us, but like, it was very like a daunting time for for us. Um, and then, like, he sang the song and we talked for a little bit, and then we just kind of got out of there. <laughs> um, so that was very daunting for us. The time I was most starstruck was probably, was, yeah, of course, Mark Hopp is definitely number one, but a memory I have is when we met Slash. And it was just a freak thing that we're in the same place at the same time and someone at our label was like, come over here and meet Slash. I was like, no, I don't want to. Like, of course, how amazing of an opportunity, but like, I actually didn't want to be in that situation where it was like, what do you say and how do you not make a dick of yourself? So I just was polite as I could be and got out <laughs> before I said anything I regretted. The time I most felt like a rock star, I guess, was um, when we were making our video for Drive. And when we wrote the treatment, the director said to me, and then we want to get you with a baseball bat smashing a car window. And I was like, fantastic. <laughs> no complaints there. So uh, that was really fun on the day. Um, we shot that separately to when we had all the extras and dancers around. So. What we did was kind of get everyone out of the way and case glass went everywhere and I requested to have Rage Against the Machine played. So um, we put Rage on and I just smashed a few windows, it was great. I've never felt like a rock star, so I can't answer that question. <laughs> the time we caused the most damage on tour was probably um, our first Second World Tour. First World Tour. First World Tour. We were playing soccer with All Time Low and Yellow Card. Anybody else there? You mean six, was there? You mean six. And uh, yeah, the boys were playing, and um, I'm really not sure what the interaction was with Sean I think from Matt, Yellow Card. Yeah, Matt was going for a goal or something, and Sean from Yellow Card maliciously came from behind and uh, <laughs> tripped him <laughs> over, and then uh, Matt's ACL went. I think he'd already he'd already done it before, and. It was just a really weird uh, angle, and yep, and he, but he powered on. I don't think we even missed one show, so we had like a day off the next day, and uh, yeah, he just limped around for a while, which is no good. Did he have an operation when we went home? He did have an operation, yeah, yes. So it's a sensitive spot. I think I was proudest um, of our band when and yeah, when we got the mixes back, I, I knew it wasn't done yet until, even when we came home, we had to wait for the mixes to be get, to be done a couple of weeks after. And every day, because David Bendis lives in New Jersey, so every day is like at a weird time, we'd have to be ready to go. And that still felt really stressful. And then when that was done, it was kind of like, we were finally allowed to let go and, and listen to what we've what we created because a lot of the songs came a, a long way even in the mix um, so when that was finally done I was I felt like we had accomplished something really great especially over the past two years because we worked so hard towards it and even the past eight years <laughs> to get to where we were so I was pretty proud of that. Mm -hmm.